Welcome everybody to another video from Robotic Mower Services. I have a 450X right here. This is a 2018 450X. I'm going to step over here to the other side of the camera. Um, what I want to talk to you about is the shield for the cutting disc, the cutting disc, blades, that kind of stuff. And um, let's just start from the beginning here and work our way through. Just follow along. You understand what I'm getting at and why what I'm telling you is so important and how it can benefit you. As you can see, this style here, the cutting disc shield was bigger than the cutting disc. You can't even see the cutting disc here. And with those original style blades, you know, just a single hole there, this blade sticks out 5 sixteenths of an inch past this shield. So a lot of people will complain, you know, that blade could get, it could be cutting more uh, with every revolution. Uh, you know, it could be getting worn further back. You know, a lot of complaints about that. And people would say, well, I'm just going to take that shield off there. Why can't I do that? Well, because it's a safety feature, so you definitely don't want to remove it because of that. And if you did, these heads from these screws for the blades are exposed, and they will wrap up whatever is laying in your yard. They will find it, and it will just wrap that stuff right up around there. Uh, also, if you would have this off there, and this would run up over a log, a rock, or something else, the screw heads are going to gouge into it, tear it up, and even if they're not running to stuff like that, it just bottoms out. It's going to put a lot of wear and tear on your cutting motor, and you're going to be burning up cutting motors faster than you realize. Uh, we've seen it happen. So that's why I don't want to remove this shield. And you're saying, well, you know, how can I get a better cut out of my mower? How can I get more blade exposed there? Bear with me. and We're going to get to that. So... Let's talk about the actual cutting disc underneath here first. The actual cutting disc, oh, I got one right here. This is it right here. Give me just a second here, I need to adjust this. Um, you can see that this cutting disc, the holes in it where it mounts to the flange for your cutting motor, they're tapered. On paper, this was a great idea. Uh, tapered holes, and then the screw that holds this that well, I should say screw screws because there's three of them that hold this cutting disc to the cutting motor they have tapered heads so you got the tapered head of this screw going into the tapered hole and you would think well that's great that is just going to sit in there nice and flush and it's going to line everything up how much better could it be well what we ran into uh, what we would find is people were over tightening these cutting discs when they had put this screw in there more than likely they were using power tools which how often have i said do not use power tools when working on your auto mower so they would put that screw in there they would get it started in that hole and then just brrrr. yeah i think it's good and by that time that they're thinking it's good this plastic would already be cracked between the tapered hole and this hole in the center where the shaft would come through and we would go to take a mower apart to service it and you would see all three of these holes would have cracks there which is dangerous because this is a rotating cutting disc it has razor blades on it and it's spinning around at like you know what 3000 rpm and could just shatter apart at any time or come flying off the cutting disc or whatever um it's dangerous you get what i'm saying there right um maybe exaggerating just a little bit about it coming flying apart but always a possibility uh, so yeah, that's why you don't want to use power tools on this stuff. But good news is they've changed this design. So now, not only do you have a cutting disc that you can't see under the shield, but they've also done away with the tapered holes and the tapered headed screws. So what are they using now? Well, let's rotate right over here to this. This is a new one. Uh, this is one from 2022. They started using the new cutting discs in 2020. If you've ever looked up replacement parts for your for your mower, if you were looking to replace the cutting disc or the shield, you'll see that there's a serial number break. And it'll say, you know, this cutting disc was used in 2016, 2017, 2018, and 2019. Um, then from the models that, that started with uh, 20 and a serial number, meaning 2020, from there on up, they used this style here. Now, the important thing about that is this is based off of the serial number of your mower, not the year you bought your mower, because there's plenty of people that in 2021 were still buying 2018 mowers, so you got to go by the serial number on it. Um, 
So this style right here, like I said, this is the new style. And what they did was they made the shield smaller and the cutting disc larger. And you can see that with the endurance blades then, you have more blade surface sticking out, especially on the, on the this will be actually facing down because I got the mower upside down. So you'd have more cutting surface of the blade facing towards the, the grass and uh, you would get more cut out of every revolution. And then because of the slot and the endurance blades, you're getting more cutting surface being used where the other ones with a single hole, you know, obviously they're only gonna they're only gonna spin around there, they're not gonna slide back and forth. So good idea on these to use the endurance blades with this smaller shield, larger cutting disc. It made a huge improvement in the way that these things cut and the performance of them. So uh, why am I talking about this? Well, a lot of people have seen that they were advertising a five blade cutting disc for the 500 series mowers, the new 500 series EPOS mowers. We're supposed to be coming with that. And here we are in June and we have yet to see any here in North America. Um, but people are right away jumping to that, like, oh, I heard there's a five-blade cutting disc coming out. That's what I need. That's what's going to give me a better cut of my mower. Can I put that on my old 2016 450X? I need that. I need that. Yeah, you can put it on there. Whenever it gets here, you can put it on your 450X. How is that going to help you, though? Think about this rationally. If you're already saying that I've got three blades on here, and these endurance blades... They're expensive, and I'm going through them so quick because they're getting they're getting wet grass caked on them, and you know whatever for whatever reason you think you're going through blades that quick. Why do you want to put a five blade disc on there and go through two more blades even faster than you're already going through three blades? You're gonna go through a total of five blades faster than you're going through three blades. So where is that beneficial? How about starting with this upgrade to this setup here? This replacement cutting disc that you see under here, this can be used on those older models. It's the same cutting motor. So if you go to replace your cutting disc or your shield on your 2016, 2017, 2018, or 2019, 450X, 450XH, 430X, 430XH, 520, 520H, 550, 550H, auto mower, just buy the pair, buy the cutting disc and buy the shield for the 2020 and up models. When you buy the cutting disc, you will also get three mounting screws because remember I said that tapered hole setup, they changed that. Yep. Now it's just completely flush in here. It's just flat plastic and you get a flat headed or a flange headed screw to mount this with. Now I will say that um, in, the, in the parts diagrams and the parts lookup it says cutting disc with screws. I think this might have superseded and sometimes we get them in without screws, sometimes we get them with screws. If you order this from us, Robotic Mower Services, we will send the screws along with the cutting disc. We are throwing them in just to make sure that anybody that is buying them to put onto their older mower which used the uh, taper headed screws gets the right screws to mount this because you cannot use the taper headed screws on this new style cutting disc and that's one of the ways you can tell you've got a new style cutting disc is there's no tapered holes in there you can also tell because it has a number two that's on all these new ones it's got a number two on it there's number two here on the shield uh, I can't say for sure that I've seen that on every shield but I'm pretty sure it's on most of them that are on the uh, the newer mowers. So, hopefully, hopefully this has been some good information for you to all use. Um, if you want to try to improve the cut of your auto mower, if you want to try to get more out of your your blades on your auto mower, then this would be a good a good place to start. Order this new style cutting disc. Order the shield to go with it, and. Um, try that out before you go spending money on a five blade disc to put five blades on there and all the extra resistance on your cutting motor and burning up five blades instead of three and all that good stuff um and you might be saying well why do i have to get both what if I, i've got the old one so why can't i just get the smaller shield 
Well, because this shield is the same size as the old cutting disc. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it here, but it's laid on top of it. But they're the same size. So, yeah, your blade would stick out a little bit more than with the original shield, but it's not going to stick out as much as it will with the bigger disc. So if you're saying, well, why can't I get the bigger disc and use my original shield? Because this bigger disc is the same size as the original shield. So you're not going to gain anything. This is the way to go. The new style shield, new style cutting disc. It's a larger cutting disc, smaller shield. I mean, it's as simple as that. Um, you know, that's, that's going to get you so much more cutting... Uh, so much better cutting quality, so much more cutting surface exposed to the grass. It's just going to be a, a big improvement. Um, like I said, we have them available on our website, www.roboticmowerservices.com. Um, we've been selling through them pretty quick. You know, if you've called and you talked to me and you said, yeah, I need a new cutting disc for my, for my 450X or my 430X, uh, you've probably heard me say, hey, uh, if you're replacing one, just replace both of them. And go with this setup here because it's going to be way better. You're going to be much more happier. Yeah, it's going to cost you a little bit more money, but you know, in the long run, you're definitely going to improve the performance of your mower. So, um, I'm not sure yet. We might run them as a, a kit, you know, where we'd have the shield and the cutting disc together once we get through all these issues with supply chains and parts not showing up when we order them and things like that. Uh, um, but yeah, that's a possibility. But if you're unsure of what you've got, what you're looking for, you know, you don't know which one's the which one's the new style or anything like that. You can't tell by our descriptions on our website or anything. Reach out to us. You know, send us a, a message through our website. Plenty of places on there where you can contact us and send us a message and ask, you know, hey, what do I need to to put on my mower to get that better quality of cut, to get that uh, better performance out of my my cutting system, my auto mower, which which two parts do I need? And we'll send you a link. We'll send you the part numbers, whatever, to get you on your way and, and help you out. So, um, I think that's it. You know, we're in a busy time of the year here, and it's late at night, and I just wanted to put this out there because I've been seeing so many people talking about this stuff in the five-blade cutting disc. So, um, yeah, it's late at night. I'm a bit sleep-deprived and um, probably forgetting half the stuff I want to tell you about. But the important thing is... If you want these parts for your auto mower or any other parts of your auto mower, the place to start is our website, www.roboticmowerservices.com. Go there. If you can't find what you're looking for, like I said, there's plenty of spots on there where you can just click and it will open up a, a new window to send us a message. Or you can send us an email, roboticmowerservices at gmail.com, and let us know what you're working with. Give us a model, a serial number, you know what the issue is, what you're looking for, the best description you can. And we'll try to get you taken care of and, and fixed up and back out there mowing again. Um, that's going to do it for this video here. As always, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel.